Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to be covering how you can change the amount of CPU cores and threads used when Steam's compiling game shaders in the background. So, one of the things you may have noticed when you're playing your Windows games on Linux is, especially when using technology such as Proton, is that sometimes when a game's launched, you may see a window pop up and it'll state that it's compiling shaders. Now, what this is, is a shader cache that's provided by Valve. And the idea behind it is that it's to reduce the amount of stuttering that can occur when you're playing Windows games on Linux. Now it's possible to re reduce the amount of overall time it takes to compile the shaders if you allow them to compile in the background whilst Steam is open. So to do this, you want to navigate to Steam, Settings, and then the tab here where it says Shader Pre-Caching. From here you want to make sure you've enabled both Enable Shader Pre-Caching as well as Allow Background Processing of Vulkan Shaders. So the idea behind this is that in theory, the next time you launch a game, you'll no longer see this window that says compiling shaders, as it's already been done ahead of time. However, by default, at least to my particular knowledge, the background shader compilation process only uses a single CPU core or two threads, which is obviously not going to make that much of a difference if you've got a game with lots of shaders that need to be compiled. Now the good news is, it is possible to override this behaviour, and allow you to specify exactly how many CPU threads you want to be used for this task. And obviously the more threads you have, the quicker the process is going to be. So I'll give you an example. I have an AMD Ryzen 5 3600. Now this is a six core processor and it has 12 available threads. So what I could do is theoretically tell Steam to use all of my available threads at the time to compile any shaders in the background. And for obvious reasons, this is gonna be significantly quicker than just using two of them. So to do this, you want to open up your file browser and enable hidden files and folders. From here, navigate to .local, share, steam, and inside here, you want to create a new file called steam underscore dev.cfg. Once you create that file inside it, you want to write the text, unshared a background of processing threads, and then a figure afterwards. Now the figure afterwards is going to dictate how many CPU threads you want Steam to use for the background shader compilation. So in my case, I'm going to use unshader background processing threads 12. Once we've done that, you want to save. And if you already have Steam open, just make sure to restart. Now what that means now is that any games that require shader compilation in Steam will now compile significantly faster as you're now using, in my case, 12 threads as opposed to two. And that's it. Simple as that. Now, in conclusion, one of the biggest pet peeves I have with gaming on Linux is the shader compilation time. For many games, you might find it'll take maybe a minute. However, for some games in my library, such as Borderlands 3, I could be waiting up to several minutes, even up to 10 minutes before I can actually play the game. Now, of course, if you've got a more powerful CPU than I have, then you'll find that the process will be far quicker. But things are certainly changing anyway. With the introduction of the graphic pipeline libraries in recent NVIDIA drivers and the imminent support for the equivalent with AMD hardware, you might find that in the future, long shader compilation times could very well be a thing of the past. However, for this moment in time, I like to think this video does hold some value. As always guys, thank you very much for watching, and if you did find this video helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and also, let me know if you do, do know any other tips or tricks about gaming on Linux in the comments section below. Otherwise, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.